Have you ever been redecorating? You're just painting the walls and then by accident, you paint over like a child or a pet because you're just so busy thinking about who the greatest superhero of all time is. Well, we're gonna try and figure out who it is. So you won't have to do that. So we are back trying to find out who the best superhero of all time is. Yes, we are. This is the bag of names. Yes, it's it feeling is. Feeling noticeably lighter. It is. We are over halfway now. Yeah. And as always, we should remind you, this isn't who would win in a fight. But who is better? Who is better? It could be a, n a number of reasons why. Yeah. All the different variables. Let's see what we got. Something. Cyborg. Okay. Cyborg relatively, well not new, but it's there's kind of been a cyborg resurgence with the yeah, whole he's, New 52, he's Justice League, um, cyborg kind of, I mean, let's, let's, not, let's not mistake this. The only reason cyborg is in the Justice League is because he's black. And you know, Jon Stewart as Green Lantern is busy elsewhere at the moment. Exactly, I mean, but that's what it is. You've got to have kind of racial diversi diversity. It's kind of dumb. I don't think cyborgs that interesting. I think the idea of a cyborg is, I don't know like how interesting he is specifically, like what he does as yeah. a character. I, I guess I don't know that much about him. I know his have origin. Have you read Alan Moore's Swamp Thing? No. Now, neither have I, but <laughs> I was kind of hoping you would say yes. Um, but we have both read Scott Snyder's Swamp Thing. We have indeed. And it's incredible. I've read other Swamp Things in the past, like the odd issue I here and there. Um, and I think I think he is an interesting character. I like the whole... I think he's... Really close yeah. to nature. I mean, I mean, now even more so, like, he's a fantastic character. Yeah. He's, Scott Snyder has really elevated him, although, as you say, we, we haven't read the... And he's kind of had this... Version conflict between what he wants to do and what uh, fate seems to be dragging him into and destiny. The reluctant um, hero to yeah. in Gallic Holland. Which I think has made him much more interesting and I think his powers are cooler um, and I just think he's a more generally interesting character. Yeah, it stems from that line of Vertigo characters where they're kind of off the wall, a bit different. Yeah. So, so I think that's an easy one. We're going to go swamp for... Swamp Thing. Swamp Thing. Swamp. It's from the swamp. Yeah. Uh, Next! Blade, Judge Shred. Wow! Oh, that's a good one! That is a good one. Blade. God, that's so... I mean, I like I, saying Blade. Uh, Judge Shred, of course, is from the kind of British 2000 AD yep. stem. He is the Blade. Law. Is Blade Vertigo? No. Dark Horse? No. 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 Blade is DC... Oh, no, Blade is Marvel. He comes from, uh, I'm gonna, Tomb of Dracula is the comic he originated in. Okay. Um, and he actually started off as a kind of funk disco version of Blade. He had a big afro, he wore flares, and he fought vampires. And now, obviously, they rebooted him for the film, made him a lot cooler, a lot darker. So it was just the film that rebooted him, or yeah, and the then comics? they and then they decided to continue it through the comics because it was a much better look and idea for the character. Uh, he's had three really. Uh, the first film was really good. I thought the second film was better, and I thought the third film was terrible. Um, and Judge Dredd has had two films. That's kind of a film war thing we got going on. It is. Um, First one was terrible. Second one was good. The second one was fantastic, um, but you know it's not about which film. It's not about who's, who's got the better film. It's about who's got the better comic books and who's the better character. I don't know. General. I mean, I like Judge Dredd in theory. I've read bits of again. I've read bits of Judge Dredd through the years. I've I've never mm. really enjoyed it. I don't think actually I've ever read a Blade comic book. So I think I, my decision on this has probably got a base by conceptually. Yeah. And if I just take these characters. I know, who do I want to know more about? Who do I want to... Re it's tough. Judge Dredd, I'll, I'll tell you this. I haven't read John Wagner's origins of Judge Dredd yet. Um, so for me, Judge Dredd's this kind of mysterious guy. He doesn't have an alter ego. He is Dredd. I love that about the character. I think he's, you know, he's got this amazing 
harshness to him. He's this brilliant look into what the establishment could become, and yet somehow he's still the hero, even though what he does is... I mean, by our standards, it's morally wrong to be judge, jury, and executioner, but he's he's this kind of anti-hero. Um, he's, I think he's an absolutely fantastic character, and he, he doesn't... Uh, follow the conventions of a superhero. He follows the conventions that he creates. He takes the rule book. He throws it out the window. He he is like, yeah, I think we can give it to Dread. I, I think we should definitely give it to yeah, Dread. Yeah, I mean, I I think that's and a, that's he's a tough he's one. he's Britain's yeah, well, superhero. Let's not, let's not keep harping on about the the, well, the British bias that he's, we he's may or may two, not have going on. He's the 2000 AD. So Captain guy. Britain's got a really tough fight and then. Round of 32, so it's probably good oh. that Dread goes through. So. Yes, so Dread. Aim to do. Rick Grimes, Thor. <laughs> <laughs> what a bizarre pairing. <laughs> this is really weird. Oh, I should yeah. say, I made these. I put all the comic book characters in that. The re- I just put Rick Grimes in there because he's, he's like one of the biggest comic book heroes of all time like he's huge he's the biggest image comic book hero i'd say definitely um and yeah from his exposure on the tv show to his comic books now i get the feeling i know which way this is going to go yeah uh this is going to go you're going to say thor yeah and i'm not you are not going to say rick grimes i'm going to defend rick grimes against thor here i go just gonna limber up first okay here we go In the Walking Dead comic, we see this incredible character. He starts off as a pure survivor. He doesn't know what's happening. He's trying to figure out what's going on. By the next issue, he's he's kind of he knows what's happening. He's taking control of the situation and he's control he's, you know, absolutely ruling it. By the third one, he is pulled down to his basic nothingness and Fourth one, he goes insane. Fifth one, he brings himself back up. He goes through some horrible, horrible things in the comic books. Stuff that Thor hasn't even oh, I'm possibly sure, had happened to I am him. sure that Thor has been through that and more over the, what, oh. 80 years? I mean, the thing is, there. I'm not going to say anything that has happened to Rick Grimes because the Walking Dead fan comic book community is incredibly good at, you know, spoiler free. And this is a comic that's been going on for years now. It's in its hundred issues. Um, and I just think he's an absolutely fantastic character. Now, what I will say Thor? is I realise that I'm probably going to have to concede because there's no way people are going to let me get away with Thor. He would have beaten other characters. He would have beaten maybe Green Arrow, someone like that, who's more of a kind probably of... Probably beaten Dread in the last round. Yeah, Maybe. But I think it's Thor. He's such a classic. I feel bad not putting him through because he's the first non-superhero yeah. that we've had, or the first kind of, um, yeah, that type yeah. of breed. Um, but you know, do we need to go into what Thor is? No, I think Thor wins. Let's do one more. The thing, Daredevil. Um. Well. Before, I mean, before Mark Miller's run, yeah. um, Daredevil, I did not like. I was Mark Miller's or Mark Wade's? Mark Wade's. Mark Wade's. Mark Wade's run. I did not like Daredevil. I didn't, I mean, a lot of that is probably down to Ben, ben Affleck. Um, I mean, how much Daredevil did you read before Mark Wade? Yeah, no, that's probably true. I've, I, I mean, I haven't read tons of stuff outside the Mark Wade, but I have read the Mark Miller stuff so i've seen the darker i've read some bendis work on him and i think he's an absolutely incredible character i think there's a brilliant thing about daredevil is he's the superhero that loses he is the superhero who you know he loses the loves of his life and he loses in battles and he he does not always win and that's i feel as though he's so much more relatable because of that and he has a genuine disability that he's turned into his advantage. And I think that's absolutely incredible. Yeah, I mean, I really, really like the thing. I like the fact that he's yeah, this light-hearted character. I like, and he's, for his strength, he always, I always end up feeling sorry for his character. Like, he's a character that really induces pity from me. Or not pity, but much. <laughs> I'm sorry. Anything the thing has gone through that can induce pity 
Daredevil went through in the 80s and the 90s. He has been dragged through the mud. And it's only in the last kind of, in the Bendis run that, uh, Bendis, in the Mark Wade run that he went, there is only so much you can beat up a character before you got to give him a break. Yeah, no, I mean, I, I, yeah, I think you're right. I'm just trying to kind of fluff this out because it's quite an easy decision. Daredevil, I, you're completely right. He's a, he's a very interesting character. The fact that he's blind alone, like, yeah. it never I mean, been done before and was interesting. Very cheesy Stan Lee uh, kind of introduction to a character. Yeah. Um, you know, the kind of radioactive waste only went in his eyes and not the rest of him and all that. Um, but I think if you... Even that isn't that bad. Mm-hmm. And yeah, the relationship he has with characters and Cy- his uh, friend Foggy and everyone is just incredible. Yeah, he wins. Daredevil. Um, is, is that all we got? Yeah, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> We're just checking. It seemed like quite a quick episode. This it does. Time, well, you know, sometimes they come up and they're difficult. Sometimes they're really easy. We have a lot that we have not, like a lot of characters we haven't even tapped into yeah. that I'm getting worried that we're going to have to have face-offs yeah well okay so that's that's another episode uh we hope you're enjoying our search join us next time and until then goodbye we'll see you soon we'll see you then whatever the phrases we use (laughs) i have no idea i don't know